here on Good Morning Arizona, some new guidelines for prostate exams. We're sitting down with a Valley doctor to discuss how experts are reversing recent sentiments about those cancer screenings. What every man in your family needs to know. Well, new this morning, if you're confused about who should get prostate cancer checks and when, uh, it's about to get more confusing. Experts are now reversing their recent thoughts on prostate cancer screenings. Here to kind of sort out all the details with us, a Valley urologist, Dr. Mark Hong. Thank you very much for joining us. So it was kind of an about face of what they just said a few years ago back in 2012. That's right. Well, so we have this federal uh, uh, advisory panel, and in 2012, they came out very strongly against something called PSA testing. PSA testing, of course, is a screening test for prostate cancer for men. And in 2012, they gave it a grade D recommendation, which means essentially don't test for prostate cancer. Okay, but now they say uh, men who are between or below the age of 70, they say it's okay, but it's really kind of on a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah, so now, uh, just recently, literally yesterday, the, that same panel came out with a grade C recommendation, meaning that they no longer oppose screening for prostate cancer. They say that it should be an individual choice after discussion with your physician. So break this down. I mean, it all comes down to the possibility that there's overtreatment and some of the side effects that might come with some of those treatments. Javi, this is one of the big controversies in medicine, actually. You know, this uh, controversy has been burning for many, many years. And this does add to some clarity, but it still is a bit confusing. I mean, frankly, I'm confused myself. So uh, the problem is the data is a little bit mixed, okay? So what it really shows, and the bottom line message here, is that it's okay to get screened for prostate cancer uh, with the PSA test. Uh, but you should also have a discussion with your physician about that kind of thing. So kind of risk reward here in this situation. Yeah, because the other downside, you might think, why is it that, what's the, what's the harm of screening? Why, why shouldn't I get the test? And it's actually because uh, the test can lead to other testing that then has its own risks. And then it could lead to treatment of cancer that has its own downsides as well. So the key question here is, do we actually need to treat the cancer even if we find it? Are you likely to die of cancer even if you're diagnosed with it? And I know that's a difficult concept because most of us think the C word is a bad thing no matter what. Well, it turns out in certain cancers and in certain prostate cancers especially, you don't always die with, pro or you, you die you don't always die from prostate cancer, you might die with prostate cancer. So I guess, uh, break it all down, bottom line it for us out there. If you're at risk out there, what should you be asking your doctor? What kind of conversation should you be having? You know, it's funny, Javi, because if I had come home uh, in grade school with a report card with a D, and then I suddenly got a C, I don't think my mama would be very pleased with me. So to me, these recommendations are still a little bit weak here. I personally believe that PSA testing is very important. It is something that gives us a good sense of your overall prostate health, not just for prostate cancer. And frankly, just like we say, you know, uh, guns don't kill people, people kill people, that kind of thing. You know, the test is not evil. It's actually how we use the test. We have to use it properly. We have to not overdiagnose and overtreat prostate cancer. And I think that's a very important discussion to have with your uh, physician. Good information. And by the way, if you went from a D to a C, you'd be a journalist and not a doctor. So <laughs> thank you very much. Great information. I'll thank my mom for that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Avi.